In 1924, the Mitchell Electric Handsaw Company created the very first portable circular saw powered with a unique gearing system utilizing a worm drive. They called this new portable wonder the skill saw. By 1937, the first skill saw model 77 arrived, laying the foundation for a series of 77s that will play a critical part in building our nation. And now 82 years later, skill saw the company has finally cut the cord on the saw that built America. This is your inside look at the world's first cordless worm drive circular saw. Welcome back to another Inside Look, I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah, and this is the all new Skillsaw Cordless Worm Drive, powered for the first time by a unique new battery platform called True HVL. They tell us this battery was specifically designed to power the worm drive you'll find in all their tools. Skillsaws are known for their durability and over the top power, so we can see why a special battery platform would be needed that features unique cooling and electronic control for each cell. If you've used a Corden Mag 77 before, this new saw will feel right at home in your hands. The ergonomics are almost exactly the same. The only obvious difference will be that battery, and it's big. When compared to the larger batteries from competitors, it's still big. The reality is, if you want to use a lot of power for as long as possible, the only real option is to add more cells. So it's big. They say it's just as powerful and durable as its older brother. Coming out from behind the shadow of the Mag 77 can't be easy. So to see if it lives up to the hype, we gave it to a group of carpenters here in Columbus, Ohio for three weeks and had the guys put it to work where it belongs, on the job site. This week we joined AJ on a remodeling job to see if the saw could live up to the legend. AJ Delancey, I'm a carpenter here in Columbus, Ohio. This is the new skill saw. It's a battery powered warm drive saw. When I first picked the saw up, I thought it was incredibly heavy, but the more and more I used it, I found that the weight wasn't a liability, it was actually an asset. It really helped, helped you control the saw and, and make really nice straight cuts and everything. And I'm actually not too familiar with uh, blade left saws. I've always used a blade right saw. So it, it took a little bit of getting used to. The ergonomics were slightly different, but overall I, I found myself loving the saw. When I, when I first got it, I cut, you know, it was almost like comically big, but really the amount of power they pack into this platform is, is really nice. And um, I've been using it for about three weeks now. I was able to overheat it one time when I was making a lot of kerf cuts to bend some framing material. I probably ran 300 cuts in a row. It took a long time for it to cool down. It's not abnormal though. I mean, there's 300 cuts in a row over and over and over again would do that to just about any battery tool really. But I was surprised at how long it took to cool down even though it was kind of cold in the space we were working in. The dust collection is fair for what it is. You know, it's obviously not what a track saw would be. Um, so typically when you buy a saw like this, they send you this, you know, general, stamped Chinese blade and the first thing you do is take that off and throw it out never never to be seen again um, and, and put a Diablo blade on there and it's really nice to see a company you know, realizing that that's what professionals would do anyway and just doing it for us that's one less thing we have to do one less thing we have to buy so it's really nice you could use it right out of the box and it's ready to go and uh, you know, the blade, typical Diablo blade, just works really well, nice clean cuts. This battery platform is brand new and currently this is the only tool available with, that goes with this battery. I can't imagine them putting this uh, much innovation in a, in a saw to only release one item. So I'd love to see it on the table saw and love to see the miter saw. And if they could do it, I mean, the saw squash would be great. Yeah, there's really not much to not like about the saw, honestly. Really robust, you know, it's built to last. It's built for a professional carpenter. AJ went on to tell us that one of his favorite features was actually the brake. He said the blade comes to a complete stop far quicker than he's used to, and that was a welcome addition. So he liked it. Oh, for sure. So much so that we couldn't take the saw back. That's why we don't have it in front of us today. He said after he got used to the extra weight, it became the saw he always reached for first, so we let him keep it. Well, that was nice of Skillsaw to share it with us, so thank you, Skillsaw. Now, AJ is just one carpenter. Sure, he has lots of experience and we completely trust his judgment, but if you want more proof of the power in this saw, there are many other places you can turn. That's right. Back in September, Vince from VCG Construction first showed off the saw next to his current favorite saw, the corded Mag 77. Vince was, to say the least, impressed. I gotta tell you though, unbelievable that you can get that much power out of a battery instead of plugging a tool into the wall. Battery technologies have come so, so far. A week later, Vince decided to pair the two brothers in a tool test raw event and the cordless worm drive continually came out on top. 
Then in October, the guys at Tools in Action took time out of Eric's home remodel to review his experience with the worm drive on the job site. Eric also loved the power and portability, especially considering the lack of outlets. We're cutting LVLs with this, no problem. We're cutting, um, you know, a whole bunch of two bys, whether it's two by fours, two by twelves, going through that, We're cutting through a lot of different stuff. And guys, this mimics, to me, it mimics a true worm drive skill saw. Just a few days ago on December 14th, Clint brought the CWD into the tool review zone and found himself content with just the build quality of this thing. Holy hell, this thing is awesome. It is basically a tank. Everything on this is basically magnesium. And YouTube isn't the only place to find people pleasantly surprised with the new saw. Instagram has been buzzing since it was released in September. A buddy Thibault, also known as the French MTL Framer, was one of the first to put the cordless worm drives to work on a job site. After noting how heavy it was, he repeatedly posted about the sheer power that this thing produces. He has since posted two separate head-to-head -head comparos against the DeWalt Flexvolt rear handle and the corded 77. In both times, the new cordless worm drive came out on top. Now by October, Joe the Canadian Carpenter updated us with a quick review of his own cordless worm drive and immediately addressed the enormous battery. Does it get in the way? He says yes, but maybe 2% of the time. His only other real complaint was the integrated dust chute in the handle, putting the action a bit too close to his beard. That's not a problem I have, but it's good to know. Otherwise, he's happy with the power for sure. Just a couple days ago, Paul the Tool Pig shared a video of the saw starting up in the cold, where you can literally see frost on the battery, and it did great. He told a story about bringing it as his only saw to a huge framing job and making believers out of several DeWalt, Makita, and Milwaukee users. Four of them said that they were planning to go buy it after working with it on the job site. This saw obviously has some big shoes to fill. The Mag 77 is a bona fide legend in the framing world. That may be why skill saws took so long to cut the cord. Now, fortunately, they're owned by a tool company called Shervon, who has a long history of serious lithium ion tool battery design, and it shows. If you're going to put a battery this big on a portable tool, it will have to deliver to make up for that size. Based on AJ's reviews, many videos on YouTube, and our own experience here at Cop Tool, it looks like they've done it. And of course, as AJ mentioned previously, this is just the beginning for the new true HBL battery. It would only make sense for Skillsaw to take full advantage of this 48 volt platform and maybe make a job site saw, a miter saw, maybe even a cordless Sasquatch could be possible. For what? For the Sasquatch. They haven't even said Dance. they're gonna make. Okay, that's it for this inside look at the Skillsaw cordless worm drive. We will embed all the content we feature here today on a post on our website, which you can find in the links below. If you decide to get one of your own, you can support our show by buying it from our sponsor, OhioPowerTool.com. We want to thank Skillsaw for sending us the software review and sponsoring the work we do here at CopTool. Do us a favor and click the like button below so more tradesmen and tradeswomen like yourself can find us. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you.